How's it going, everyone? Obi here, and welcome back to some more Zelda Breath of the Wild. So, guys, last episode, we conquered two more shrines. We got in a total of four spirit orbs. We just came out of the Temple of Time here. We just prayed. We upped our stamina bar a little bit. Here, if I run a little bit, you can kind of see that extra little tick of stamina we have there. That's pretty nice. We talked to the old man. We found out he used to be the king of Hyrule. Okay, we found out who we used to be. We used to be one of the guardians or uh, warriors chosen to defeat Ganon back in the day. We failed. They put us to sleep, and they resurrected us 100 years later. Okay, they thought maybe if I got a good night's sleep for 100 years or so, I might be up for the task. But that's not the important news, boys. What is important is we got ourselves the paraglider, as you just saw. That was my first time ever using it. I wasn't sure what button to press. I just pressed them all. Uh, it's the... Uh, the X button, if you're curious. I pressed the X button for to power flight. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove all these pins off my map, guys. I got too many going on here. They leave me like literally nowhere. I was just spamming them everywhere for no reason at all, okay? They're not helping me at all. They're distracting me. And then we have this glowing thing over here. This is our main quest, to seek out Impa. That's what we're supposed to be doing here. Should I follow it? Should I be a good boy and do that? I don't know. I mean, what is this? What's this over here? Like, what is this, a fountain? Fountain with owls and bats! Uh, get out of here, you guys are breaking my hammer! Ah. I got him. Like, what is this? Okay, so I got one of their wings, their keeses. It's a keese wing, the wing of a keese. It's covered with very short, sharp fur. It's not much use by itself, but you can mix it with critters to make something useful. And then we also got the eyeball. It's fun to look at, but it doesn't seem to have much of a use at first glance, but it must be good for something. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and keep these because it just said it might be good for something. And, uh, you know, that's that's clearly a sign of something good to come, yeah? Oh, yeah, guys. I almost forgot. How y'all doing? Are y'all doing good today? Guys, last episode, I said if you were enjoying the video, to go ahead and drop a like for Link's glorious hair. You guys did pretty good with the likes, man. Y'all killed it with the likes. I'm super happy y'all did that, man. If you could leave another one on this video, though, that'd be super awesome. Link, Link uh, needs contact lenses. You guys can't see it, but for every like he gets, one contact lens gets donated to his beautiful blue eyes. But he needs a lot. My oh, boy. Oh, oh, something's happening. Something's happening. Hold on. No, no time to talk about cotton. Oh, jeez. Get out of here. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, my body. My body. Eh, eh, eh. Eh, I got to switch weapons here. I got to switch weapons. Eh, eh. I want, hold on. That's, I want, I want, uh, I want a spear. It's a throwing spear. Can I just jab with it though? Jab, poke. Okay, boy. Eh. Hey, get out of here, dude. I don't got time for this. Oh, this boy's coming back. His arm is... The arm is crawling to his body. It's creepy. I don't like it. Hey. Oh, what the heck? Okay, are we good? We're good here? I need to eat. Oh, that's the wrong button. Uh, I want to I eat some food. Oh, man. Every time I play this game, guys, I forget the buttons. I forget, uh, pause the game. No. Eh, eh, eh. Okay. Can I eat some... Uh, let's eat a steak. It looks good. Uh, should I eat a chicken wing? Let's eat a baked apple here. I don't want to eat too much and, you know, overeat. You know, Link's got to also watch his weight. You know, he's uh, he's looking pretty slim right now, pretty slim and trim. But, you know, one too many apples, that's a lot of sugar there. You know, he clearly, uh, you can clearly see, you know, he might gain some weight. What am I talking about, guys? We're going to go with the uh, old uh, stasis here. I'm going to try something with this, you know. I'm going to stop timing this, and I'm going to smack it a few times. That was a lot of times. I smacked it a lot of times. Where's it going to go? I don't know. Uh, goodbye, dude. Farewell, bro. Yeah. Oh, I could have rolled it on them. Should I do that? No, that's too mean. I don't want to do that. That's not how I live my life. I don't drop boulders on top of vocal blends, man. What do you think I am? Some kind of maniac? Okay, anyways, guys, we got to focus here, okay? We got to figure out where we're going. So we're going to go towards Impus Quest over here, the main storyline, if you will. Okay gonna be quite a trot isn't it guys another meteor just fell out of the sky that's so cool oh one other thing i learned about this game guys is apparently and i don't know if this is true or not but apparently you can go straight for ganon like right now right now as i am with my little cloth t-shirt and my little high water pants on i can go fight ganon right now but i don't think that's what we're gonna do i think it might be smarter to uh get some gear explore the entire world that's you know, in front of us here, because I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna jump off. I don't, oh, wrong button! Oh, oh my goodness gracious, guys! Not only did I survive, but we just entered Hyrule Kingdom. Okay, almost pressed the wrong button there. That would have been devastating. 
That is a big focal blade. What are you? That's the wrong button. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 my Boker Spear is badly damaged. Okay, hold on. I killed him though. I got I got this. The Moblin Club. He's a he's a Moblin. A cruelly fashioned club favored by Moblings. It's carved from his 30 tree, but it's sloppily made, so it breaks easily. Man, everything breaks easily these days, doesn't it? We got the horn here. Uh, and then we also have the Moblin Thing. Fantastic. Exactly what I wanted, I think. Oh, then he's getting kind of scary though, isn't it? Oh. Sounded like someone slapped the top of a piano and then walked away in a violent upswing of anger. Oh. Sleeping moblings. I need a stronger weapon before I fight these guys, you know? They they take a lot of uh, damage here. Let's go try to use this old weapon against it. Come on, bro. What you got, bro? What you got? Yeah, you got to... Oh, jeez. Whoa! Lots of damage. Get up, dude! Like, get up, dude! We gotta go! Whoa! I'm gonna eat some chicken... I'm gonna eat an apple. I'm feeling pretty healthy about my life choices here. Hey, come on. Come on, dude. I'm ready for it. Let's go. Bah! Bah! Oh, jeez. Pardon me. This guy's a lot harder to fight than the previous one, isn't he? Oh, jeez. Okay, guys. I ate the rest of my chicken and uh, apples here. Wow. I am not gonna escape. Oh! Just the swing wall. The swing wall. He kicked me in the face, dude. Back up. Back up. Uh, you know what? I'm not prepared. I'm not good enough for this yet. I gotta get better. This is why I didn't go for Ganon right off the bat. Because I'm not ready for that yet. So I'm completely out of cooked food, guys. I got to resort to raw, normal apples. P.U. Guys, look. The golden beam of light. That's leading me towards Impa. What was that? It's a whole flock of birds. Wait, those ain't birds. They're cages! Run! Wait, are they coming after me? I want to go see them now. I want to get closer here. Is that dangerous? Maybe. I just like five more apples, okay? I ain't afraid. Hey! Teacher butts. What y'all doing up there, man? Hello? Oh, they're actually coming at me. Oh. Get out of here. Get. Get. Get out of here. You're not welcome here. Let's go. Just get out of here. Backflip. Oh, I hit one. I think I hit. I, oh, oh, oh. I, killed, I killed a few. I killed a few. I got a lot of wings. I got a lot of wings. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. So leaving the Great Plateau has been especially dangerous for your boy, Link, okay? He's being controlled by your boy, Obezerkins, and obviously I'm not doing a good job, okay? I'm not ready to be out in the wild yet, you know? I'm not ready for this lifestyle. This is too intense for me. I'm scared. I want to go cry in a corner. I'm just going to stick with the easy vocal blends, you know? Like easy, easy monsters. Eh, eh, eh. Get out of here, dude. Super easy, baby butts. Because we have the blue vocal blends. Okay, these guys are a little bit stronger. Gah, gah. Oh, my Moblin Club is badly damaged. Oh, no, oh, too many, too many. Yeah. Hold on, use your bow and arrow. Hit that, does not explode. That did not explode. Maybe I need my fire at, oh. 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 Oh, like that. Hold on. No, I, okay, I threw my club at him and it broke. It broke on his face. Use more arrows. Yeah, yeah dude, like that broke back. I'm the master of marksman. Yeah. 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 Okay, we're not making much progress this episode, I can tell. Uh, uh, oh. Boys, I'm doing it. I got only got five hours left, but uh, eh. gonna hit him in the face here. Bop, got that one. Okay, got that guy. Okay, yeah, I'm a marksman, bros. Eh. Like that, bro? I got two hours left. Do not miss your chance to shine, OB. I miss. Got him! Yeah. Let's hit him with something! <gasps> no. What have I done? I've come so far. What have I done? Well, fortunately... It didn't spawn me too far away. I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, should I take this camp over, guys? You know what? I got to do something in this video. Okay. I got to get something accomplished here. Let's kick some freaking butt. Okay. This guy's easy to kill. Yeah. Just two hits and he's... Basically... Get out of here. Get. Hit him right in his face. Okay. Let's break this. Okay. Get some apples out of that. And an arrow. Good, 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 good. Okay. How do we want to approach this? Wait. How do I... um? How do I switch to my fire arrows? Put Link, put that away, dude. Aha! Uh -huh. Ooh, bomb arrow! Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think if I blow this up, guys, that should do a lot of damage. It's sure did. I don't think they're too happy with their lives. Oh, did I miss? Oh, I hit him, I think, a little bit. Okay, hold on. 
How do I switch my arrows again? I just did it and I forgot already. Guys, okay, so we're going with the fire arrow on this one, bros. Eh. Oh, it's doing a lot of damage, isn't it? Arrows are awesome. I like using arrows. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit this dude with my club here. Ugh. Get out of here, brah. You ain't, you ain't long for this world. Ooh, my bulk is on fire. Oh, I put it out. My bad. Guys, I got an opal, a valuable ore that gives off a mesmerizing iridescence similar to that of the inside of a seashell. It contains the power of water? What is this? An emerald? A green rupee. A single rupee, a soft green glow. Put a smile on your face. Oh, I got a rupee. A green one. Hey, coming at you, dude. I'll kick your butt. Get out of here, bro. Uh, go. Get him. So is rupees currently like the currency of this game? I'm guessing it is. Yeah, but where would I buy things, you know? Hold on. Something is shimmering in my left ear. Something was saying, OP, grab me. Was it these spears? I don't know. But I'm wondering, is there any like shops in this game? Like, is there a town, like a thriving town that I go to and like shop at? You know, buy some stuff? I don't, oh, man, I got so many questions here. I'm so curious. My boys, I found horses. Okay, we have horses in the wild. We have uh, ducks. Little ducklings? What's up, little dudes? Wait, you're not a duck. What are you? Are you seagulls? What is this, pelicans? I don't know. I don't know my birds. But I do know that these are horses, okay? Or are they ponies? No, they're definitely a horse. Hey, little dude. Oh, hold on. Just, they're gonna fuck. Yeah. Okay, that weapon broke. That weapon broke. It's no big deal. Eh, 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 eh. Let's, let's go ahead and get rid of this. This one's almost broken, so we might as well get rid of that, yeah? Use it up while I had it. Got the broken spear here. Pop those bad boys. Get some choo-choo jellies. Everybody loves a nice choo-choo jelly. What's up, little dudes? Nay, nay. They said I'm not very good at speaking horse, and they don't want to play with me because I don't know how to horse speak properly yet. But I have to imagine in the future, I'll learn how to speak the horse language, yeah? Guys, look how close I am to Ganon's Tower right now. Isn't that just crazy? Jeez. I'm just a little boy out in the wild. Such responsibility. So much responsibility, really. Can you believe it? Oh, there's a shrine over there, guys. Should I do it? It's kind of far, but it's not too far. It'll give me another superpower. Or should I continue going for um, Impa? You know what? Let's do both. Let's do both this episode. Let's go for the shrine first, and then we'll do Impa. Guys, I found boars. What do you mean? Oh, they mean? Oh, jeez. No. What are you doing? Oh, my, my face. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. You know what? We're going to leave the boars alone unless this one wants to fight. You want to fight you? Come here, bro. Yeah, I'm going to hunt this boar. Eh. Oh, I can shoot him with an arrow, huh? With fire arrow. Eh. Oh, boy. 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 Gah! I missed. Great. Eh. Get out of here, choo-choo. Guys, look how close I am to that shrine. Now, I have to imagine there's probably some guardians around here, yeah? Oh, look, I'm mobbling over there. Okay, we want to avoid that bad boy. He's he's a butt kicker, dudes. We don't want to fight with that yet. So the cool thing is, guys, is when I last checked, we had one more slot for another rune power. But there's a lot of more shrines. So one of them's going to give me one more power, probably. But the rest, like maybe I'll get some kind of armor or a new weapon. A weapon that doesn't break all the time. Oh, that would be fantastic. I would love that. You know what? I guess the only way to know for sure is to actually go down and explore it. Ooh, what are these black rocks, though? What is this? Do I just poke it? It looks like something you would mine out of the ground, yeah? Oh, wow. Okay, let's go in here. The Bosch Kala Shrine. It's the Bosch Shrine. Oh, the wind guides you. Oh, my goodness, guys. Oh, okay. Okay, hold on. Let me go up here first. Maybe the wind will, like, blow me over to the other ledge? Let's see how this works. I'm not too uh, sure here. Okay, that was not it. <laughs> I'm guessing we have to use the paraglider here. But can I get it to jump out, like, so easy like this, maybe? Paraglide me, bro! Woo! Nice! So we got our first chest of the, the shrine here. It's an amber. Cool. Cool. We have a few of those already. Not too sure what to do with those just yet, but I'm sure we'll learn in the future. Um, okay, so there's a wind thing there. A wind thing coming back towards this area here. Now, why would I want to come back once I go? You know what? We'll figure it out as we go, boys. Let's jump off and go. Woo! Super scary. I don't like doing that at all, but, uh, that's what the game wants, bro. What wants me to do here? Hello? What's down here? I have to explore every possible outcome first. So there is a chest over here, guys, but I have no idea how to make that jump. I don't think you can. Um, can I pick it up with Magnesis? I don't think so. 
No, absolutely not. That would make no sense. It's not even magnetic. Well, I guess we'll just keep going forward with it. Maybe we'll find another way to get over there later on. I, I, I don't know. Uh, let's go this way. Eh. Eh. Oh, oh, too far, too far. Oh. Could I float from here to there? Is that what it wants me to do? Let me, let me, let me put a good old Kyle's try here. Eh. Come on, grab the ledge link. Grab, no, dude, you was right there. Got it. He, he, cli he climbed the ledge this time. This is the second time Link failed to grab the ledge on me, man. <gasps> it's a soldier's claymore. Those are really good. I love those. Okay. Just gotta get back here. Ugh. Okay, 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 okay. We're good, we're good. Yeah, okay, boys. Here we are at the very end of the shrine. What is he gonna give me? Is it another power? Armor? Oh, maybe a stamina upgrade would be pretty cool, dude. Okay. Let's see. Well, oh, he's giving me a spirit orb. Oh, that's right. Huh? You get the superpowers at the start of the shrines. What he gives me is a spirit orb. And then once I get four of those, then I can turn him into something pretty good. Gotcha. I feel dumb now. Okay. Okay, well, I didn't get exactly what I was hoping for there, but I, nonetheless, it was not a waste of time. We needed to do it anyways. We got to get all these spirit orbs done eventually. I mean, having a bigger stamina bar or maybe an extra heart up at the top left there would be really, really nice, would it not? Ooh, the Proxim Bridge? Okay. Should I be careful on this thing? Is this a dangerous bridge? Why is it called the Proxims for? <gasps> Guys, there's a dude up ahead. What up, dude? Are you a merchant? He said the end is here. Uh. I may be somewhat used to seeing bad omens by now, but that, well, let's just say it's better than most. Yeah, you're not wrong, my boy. That looks pretty bad. Mm -hmm. We're doomed. I mean, don't panic. Sorry, who are you? Have we met? Well, doesn't matter who you are, really. I was getting tired of talking to myself, so you've come at a good time. By the by, those strange things that popped out of the ground, did you see them? I'm not talking about mushrooms here. I'm talking about those towers. They seem to have popped up all over the place. And that's not the only strange thing that's happened. Those long, deserted shrines suddenly started glowing. Aww. You know what this means, don't you? The end is here! <laughs> With all this craziness happening, I've been keeping an eye on that thing. Just to see if it suddenly starts moving, you know? Uh, I'm saying, what thing? Oh, that little octopus thing over there. I'm talking about that guardian, of course. Haven't you heard our old stories about Hyrule? See that thing over there? The one just shaped like an overturned urn? That is what I'm talking about. Well, guys, he doesn't really say too much. He just tells me about the guardians, which I've already figured out because I was attacked by a bunch of them. Dude, I got tell for your analysis. Yeah, don't just push me out the way. Whoa, can I fight him for real? Okay, I don't think you can kill random civilians, which is good. I didn't want to do that anyways, okay? I don't, I don't want Link to be a bad dude. I'm a good boy. I do good things. Ooh, I see a giant uh, tree stump over there. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. And there's a tower right ahead. And we're pretty close to that giant... Uh, Jeez, that is big. Giant cavern. Wow, look how big it is. Like, for far away, it's massive. Can you imagine how big that's going to look when you're up close? This game is massive, yo. Cheapers, I'm kind of overwhelmed still. Anyways, I want to go inside the uh, giant tree stump here, you know? You know, why not? There's a flower. Looks very pretty. Kind of want to sniff it with my face. Put my nose right in it. Let's see here. Can I have this? What just happened? Oh, it went over there. And I got some stamella shrooms. Good, good. But these... Is this leading me somewhere? Oh, okay. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, let's go around. No big deal here. We got three flowers here. <gasps> Blue knife shades. A plant that grows in quieter areas of Hyrule. At night, it gives off a soft glow. Cook with it to increase your stealth. Okay, eh, eh. sure will, thank you. Guys, the flower is leading me up here, but why? Why would the flower do this to me? Oh, right here, right here, Mr. Flower? Oh, <gasps> it's you. Yeah. It was you the whole time, it's a coke rock. It says, yeah, you found me. <laughs> and I got a seat, of course. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, dude. Have a beautiful time. Whoa, guys, something just shot a boulder at me or something. Whoa, what is that? What are you doing, dude, stop it. Just get out of there. Eh. I, I poked it. Was I supposed to kill it? Well, what are these? Octo balloons. This inflatable octo rock organ has a lot of lift. So attach it to items you want to see float. Hold it in your hands and then place it on an object to attach to it. Whoa! Making objects float? That's above my level of skills here. Okay. We gotta go this way, don't we? Let's do it. I'm gonna use the wind to, to float me over there, you know what I'm saying? Now, hopefully I have enough stamina for this. 
What happens if I run out of stamina? Do I just like go and die? Do I just fall to my doom? Probably. Guys, look at this water. It's so deep. Oh, there's a lot of current here too. Oh, there's fishes over there. Fuck a dash. Okay. Eh. Dash. Oh, these nice fish? They're not piranhas, are they? It's a bass. An ordinary fish that can be found all over Hyrule. It can be eaten raw, but cooking it amplifies its healing benefits. Oh, dude, yeah, we're gonna cook some fishes tonight. We're gonna fish the dinner for us. So I feel like I'm swimming for the wrong direction here. Oh, yeah, he could drown. I forgot about that. Oopsie. Even though I drowned, guys, I still have my bass. Uh-oh. More flowers. Another Korok seed, perhaps? Possibly. Oh, this is a big current here, isn't it? Are we ready for this? Yeah. Come on. Dash. I don't know if I have the stamina for this. Link, go! It's right there. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, is that a goat or a ram? Oh, oh, no! Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. It's okay. It's okay, boss. Oh, oh, that was smarter. I got him, guys. I got the next C. Go me, guys. I I poke a I poked a ram. In his butt cheeks with my um spear, but it didn't do enough damage. It broke and he got away. That's fine. Cause we gotta come over here anyways and climb this bad boy. The dueling peaks tower. Dueling? Oh, oh, that that makes sense. Cause those peaks are dueling. They're dueling for dominance of ultimate peakism. Wait, can I even climb all this? This takes a lot of stamina to do. Yeah. Oh uh, boy. No, I can make this for sure. I made it. I made it to the top. I'm gonna examine this with my shika slate. Put my little slate up in there. Give me my information. Unlock this tower for me. Turn it blue. Yeah. Woo! Look at that. Now we're talking, boys. We got some more fast travel options ahead of us now. That's going to save us a lot of time, I have to imagine. Absolutely. Guys, look at this. The entire area just opened up for us. That is a big chunk of the map to uh, unlock all of a sudden. Wow. Holy moly. That's a lot. Oh, the Sheikah sensor. Searching for shrines. The sensor reacts when you are close to the shrines that you have not yet visited. <gasps> if you head in the direction where the reaction is strongest, you should be able to find the shrine. That's really awesome. You can enable or disable the Sheikah shrine or the Sheikah sensor with Y on the map screen. Well, I want that on at all times. In did I do it? Is it on? I don't know. What's going on? I hope it's on. Sheikah sensor now operational. Oh, I see it. Oh, that is super cool. The sensor indicator has been placed near the minimap. Search for shrines by moving in the direction with the strongest signal. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, that's kind of annoying. It's going to keep beeping now. <laughs> Complaining already, OB. Come on, man. You know what? I'm jumping into the water. There's a giant rock right there. Link, don't you dare hit that. Okay. You're fine. Okay, I might go ahead and uh, deactivate this one, boys, because that beeper sound, that gonna get pretty annoying pretty quick, yeah. I turned it off, okay? I might turn it on later on when I'm actually looking for shrines, but right now, I'm not really going for shrines, and I don't want to hear all this beep, beep. Oh, jeez, dude. Oh, jeez. What is that over there, though? Oh, jeez, man. Come on. Let's just keep going this way. Let's go over here. So this is a pretty chill uh, Twin Peaks cavern thing we got going on here. You know, it's not bad at all. It's pretty quiet. Very easy to get through. I've had one enemy so far, and uh, I just kind of walked past him. Oh, there's my second one right there. I think. He's going he to start throwing boulders at me or something. I'm just going to run past him. It's no big deal at all. Ooh, okay. Over here, we have a little Boca Blank town. Um, how do I sneak again? I always forget how to sneak. Is, it, is that button? Eh, that one. Okay, okay. You guys told me I need to watch the little purple bar in the bottom right by my mini map, and that shows me how much sound I'm creating. Oh, they're actually not sleeping. So sleeping's not gonna really hit. Oh, our sneak is not really gonna help me. I'm just gonna go with a whirlwind spin here. Get out of here, dude! Scat! Get away from me! I'm just a little boy! Get out of here! That worked really, really well. Holy freaking moly. Dude, no. Whoa, dude, you butt face with Cooper Gummy, get out of here! Golly! Man, those little butt faces almost cost me my whole life. Give me that. I want this. I want all. What is this? A sword? Give me that. 
Soldier's broadsword? You bet your bottom booty dollars I want that. Anyways, let's climb up here. Let's see what they were protecting. What was so important that I almost lost my entire life to? A boomerang. The boomerang. Storm weapon was originally used by the forest dwelling Korox. Its unique shape allows it to return after being thrown. It's a boomerang. My inventory's full. You've got to be kidding me. Link, drop something, dude. Oh, you know what? Eat a fish, dude. You know what? Eat another fish, dude. You've already did, bro. Let's go ahead and drop some weapons, though. Like, let's go ahead and probably drop these torches. I don't really need those. I don't think, anyways. Drop that. Let's drop a leaf. You know what? Drop two leaves. Why not? You know? Who cares, right? Drop, you know, drop these torches, dude, bro. You know, make some inventory room, dude. You know, you don't gotta hold all this stuff. Ain't nobody judging you if you can't hold all that. You know, but you will hold, hold this boomerang. That you will hold. So, can I just, like, throw it out there? You know? Eh. Oh. Huh? Huh? Whoa. Now, if I... That's the wrong button, OB. Do I, do I just throw it like this? Will it come back? Oh! I did not catch it. You have to catch it. Oh, I wasn't prepared. Oh, no. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay. Okay, hold on. Let's try it again. Throw it. Come it back. And catch it. I did it. I did it. Go me. Guys, I'm going to try to hit one of these birds. Does that mean? I don't know. Get out of here, dudes! Welp. I missed. It hit a wall. And it fell. Okay, gotcha. What is that ahead of me? Some kind of giant... There's a shrine. Not yet, shrine. I need to see what this town is first. Guys, there's music and villagers and all that stuff. <gasps> there's people here. Civilization, we found it. What's up, dudes? Little girl, how are you? She says, ah, this is the life. Good evening. Don't see a... Okay, I'm not gonna do that. Good evening. Don't see a whole lot of travelers passing through here. You know... With how peaceful it is around here, it's sometimes easy to forget that the world has almost ended years ago. But there are still monsters wandering around, and the area near Hyrule Castle is especially dangerous. If you're going to be traveling, you should know a thing or two about elixirs. Oh, teach me, teach me, please. Okay, so basically, guys, she taught me how to make elixirs. You just mix things together. Uh, I I'm pretty sure we all would have guessed that anyways. Uh, but she gave me this hasty elixir here. It grants a low-level haste effect, which boosts your movement speed while running, swimming, or climbing. Which is pretty good. Thanks. Thanks, lady. The recipe is just high tail lizard and monster parts, so I usually have a stock of 10 or so on hand. Oh. Well, can I buy things from you people? Okay, she doesn't seem to have anything that I can buy from her. Maybe, uh, maybe I have to go inside of here because the dual and peak staple. Well, can I buy a horse here? Hey. Hello? I could give you directions? No, no, I want like hey. clothes. He says, Welcome to my stable. We deal in all things horse related. We also double as an inn. Huh. I haven't seen your face before. Do you know about the stable system? Uh, I don't. Teach me, bro. Uh, okay, guys, so he just told me about horses. So those wild horses I was chasing earlier? Apparently, if you crouch... Oops, wrong button. Apparently, if you crouch down and you sneak towards them, you can jump on them eh, like that. Then you can ride them all the way over here and register that horse in the stable. And then we can summon that horse whenever we want and ride it freely uh, around the world. Whoa, what's going on, guys? What are we doing? I got the scoop on Misko's treasure. What's treasure, you say? Okay, I'm listening. I'm, I'm, hold on. Did he notice me? Hey, guys. He says, hey, buddy, what's your problem? You aren't being incredibly rude and listening to our conversation. No, dude, I'm deaf. Come on. Come on, dude. Just keep talking about the treasure, though. I don't, I don't know. I don't hear anything you're saying right now. Uh, he says, we're treasure hunters on the trail of our latest score, the treasure of the great bandit Misko. It's as good as ours. Uh? Prison, you're going to give it all away, uh. man. Sir, deck, I got carried away. Anyway, we're busy here, dude. If you need something, take it up with someone else. Okay. Well, I'll just leave then. No big deal. And then I'll slowly, um... I'll leave. Actually, you know, I'll leave. And then I'll sneak over this side. You know, he'll never see... That guy saw me. But this guy over here, he'll never see me coming. Shh. Come on, I want to know more about this treasure you're talking about, bro. You guys going to talk about it? Oh. Do you see me? Shh. Let's go over here. Over here. Super duper sneaky here. Talk about the treasure, dudes. Wanna get up? <laughs> Guys, they are not talking about treasure right now, and I've been pretty sneaky. I mean, I'm right behind him for crying out loud. Hello? Oh, come on, dude. <gasps> oh, guys, look what he says. He says, you will get paid to mind my little bro's chatter from before. He's got a penchant for running his mouth with crazy talk. So I'm gonna ask him about the treasure. Ah, uh, shoot. Well, can't say I didn't try to throw him off. Oh. Hey, Dak, why don't we just tell him? Maybe he'll leave us alone if we do. Yeah, dude, I will. I promise. I mean, if we can't figure out this riddle out, there's no way someone like him will be able to. Dude, of course. I'm dumb. 
Since that's a good point. We're after nothing less than the treasure of Misko, the great bandit. Finding it would mean incredible riches? I'm not about to give this information away for free. I'm no oh. fool. That's the keen sense of the strongest treasure hunter at work. No gold left behind. Not by Damadak. You're great, Dak. So great. What, what do you want, dude? Oh. It'll be 100 rupees to learn what we know. Oh, come on, dude. Truth is, it'd be a steal to get this exclusive scoop for 1,000 rupees. So what do you say? No way, dude. I ain't got that much money. I only got two. <laughs> anyway, Misko's treasure, not that we were talking about such a thing, is only for the best of treasure hunters. That probably rules you out, bub. The fewer people after it, the better. And we've still got the scoop. Good for you, dude. Good for you. I'm done with you now. So I'm guessing rupees are going to start becoming more common now because just to sleep in a normal bed is 20 rupees. Uh. I don't have that kind of cash, bro. What's this guy all about? Yeah. Okay, so she just told me about those giant black rocks that I was seeing from before oh. that I was uh like hitting with my little twigs or something. Apparently you need a hammer and then you can mine gems out of them, possibly rupees. That would be oh. really nice. What's up, dude? What's up with you, bro? You look kind of mean. I like your mustache. Nice goatee beard thing too. Nice. I didn't notice you. I was a bit lost of thought here. I've been doing rigorous research day and night to figure out the mystery with the blood moon. Whoa, blood moon, what? You don't know? That's inexcusable. Listen up and I'll tell you about it. For 100 years now, every so often when a clock strikes midnight, the sky turns red and the full moon rises. At that moment, monsters that had been previously defeated will come back to life. And that's what is known as the blood moon. Why do monsters return to life? Why does it only happen when the sky turns red? No one really has the answer to those questions. It's a mysterious phenomenon. Uh. If you learn anything about the blood moon as you travel, be sure to come back and tell me. Absolutely, dude. I will never do that because I don't care about you. What? Whoa, that's a traveling merchant for sure. Dude, sell me some clothes, man. I want something cool. The name's Beetle, but you can call me. Actually, let's just stick with Beetle. Guys, he is a traveling merchant, but I think he only sells bugs. No, arrows, uh, frogs. So he doesn't really have any clothes, unfortunately, even if he did. I don't have the rupee count to buy this kind of stuff. Wow. Okay. Jeepers. Get out of here, dude. I'm done with you. Goodbye. <laughs> Go. I'm done. I'm leaving. Okay, not bad. So we came across our first town. Kind of all oh, this horses. Should I try to get one, guys? Okay, hold on. Eh. Time for butthole faces. Oh, I'm using a boomerang as a weapon here, but it's, it's good enough for these skeletons here. The skeletons are kind of weak. Got him. No big deal. Okay, guys, I want to go for that black and white horse over there because he looks kind of like a moo cow. And I want a moo cow horse so bad. Come on, little cow horse. Obi's going to get you. We're going to go slower. Shh. Walk slower, Obi. Very quiet. Very quiet. Very quiet. That horse is moving away. I want the moo cow one. That is my choke. That horse sees me, kind of. Is that horse going to spook the other horses? No, I want, I want the black. You know what? I guess I'm going to go for this one. No, stick with the plan. Go, oh, jeez! The dude hit me right in the face! Okay. I guess we're still going for the black and white one then. Come here, little moo cow horse. OB just wants to jump on your back. Run! Right. Woo! Oh, jeez, dude! Okay, I gotta soothe it with the L. Soothe, there. No, that's wrong. There, 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 boy. Good boy. Do good. Okay, you ready to go? Let's, let's go this way. I'm sorry, I'm pulling on your hair. He's like, stop it! Oh. There, there, dude! Whoa, whoa, there, boy. There, there. There, there, man. You're doing good. Real good. You ready to go a little faster? We're going to want to yell that one. Woo! Here we go, boy. Here we go. Okay, guys, he's going full speed now. I think this horse has come to like me. He loves me, dude. There, good job, dude. Good job. You're so good. You know exactly what's going on, don't you? Hey, how do I register this bad boy? I want to register my horse, please. Whoa, whoa, slow down, slow down. There, there. Whoa, 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 whoa. There, there. Shh, there, there. There, boy. Okay, hold on. Go a little closer, please. Hell, hi, hi. Hello, hi. I have a uh, horse to register here. Oh, oh, okay. Eh. Back it up here. Eh. Guys, I am registering my horse. Oh. Oh, you sure this is the one? Absolutely, dude. This is not a problem. We charge the registration fee to help support our conversation. Oh, boy. Here we go. 20 rupees. Is that okay? Nope. Is that okay? I can't, dude. You, do I look like I have money? Come on, dude. Unfortunately, old Oreo right here, the moo cow horse of our dreams. We're going to have to find him later on when we have some money. What a shame. Hey, okay, anyways, ignoring all that, that was a lot of things to read. That was a lot of text on the screen, boys. I hope that didn't bore you guys too much. We're going to come over here. This impa's like right over here, apparently. What is this little dude riding the horse? Ah... Uh, 
stargazing with Horsey. You named your horse Horsey? That's so cute. What a good idea. Ooh. Kakariko Bridge. The music got really scary again, too. Every time I get to a bridge, the music gets really scary, doesn't it? Oh. I want to go down there. Unless there's like secrets down there or something. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and get some of this herb as well while we're here. Might as well stock up on as much of this stuff as possible, right? Now, unfortunately, I don't think I have a hammer with me. Can I do it with an axe? Let me see here. No, I don't think I can mine this stuff without a, a uh, hammer. I need a hammer for that, and my axe is just not going to cut it today. So, guys, it looks like Impa somewhere up there. I could just take the road around. Might take a little bit longer, but it's definitely more of a safe journey if we do it like this. Actually, let's pop open a map. Yeah, she's kind of a ways away still, isn't she? Okay, that's, that's fine. That's fine. We're just going to run it, I think. Guys, what is this thing here? This is Shalaka. Shalaka to you, my friend. You! You can see me? Oh, it's Hestu! Dude, I can see you, Hestu! What's up, dude? Shalaza, Shalaza! It's been 100 years since anyone has been able to see me. I'm Hestu, and I need your help. Those monsters over there stole my beloved maracas. Maracas? Oh, you're maracas, dude? I think they're still on the other side of those rocks. Dude, I will get that for you, my boy. I can't use my powers without them, Shoko. So please... Please get my maracas back from there. Dude, absolutely, bro. I'm, go I'm on it, bro. <gasps> the priceless maracas. It's a side quest, boys. Our first side quest. Okay, this is it. I am prepared. My entire body is ready for this. Oh, we're doing it, boy. Oh, we're doing it. We are in it to win it. Okay, we got the blue ones here. Ooh, can show it a bow. Okay, I'm taking a lot of damage. Oh, I don't want to take any damage. Oh, uh, uh. Okay, calm down, OB. Just eat some apples, dude. You'll be fine. Hold on, we got fish. We got lots of fish here. Oh. Okay, we can do this. This, this, this focus. Oh, whoa, where did that dude come from? Okay, now we need more food. I'm, I'm, I'm winding up for a whirlwind attack here. Get out of here, bro. Ooh, this is not doing a lot of damage. This axe is kind of weak, isn't it? Oh, oh boy, oh boy. I need something stronger. Soldier's Cable will do the trick, absolutely. Soldier's Cable don't play real. I gotta get better at combat. I gotta get better at combat. Get out of here, you. Just get out of here. Okay, I got one, I think. Two down, two down. Two down's pretty good. All I have to do is focus on one here. He's trying to steal my tactics, my whirlwind spin tactics. It's not gonna work today, buddy. It's not gonna work, bucko. Get your butt whooped. Oh, jab me in the face. Guys, I decided just to shoot him in the face with an arrow, okay? That was too hard for me. I was getting my butt whooped. I'm not prepared for all this combat yet. You know, I gotta get stronger. I need better items. Anyways, guys, we now have Hestu's Maracas. Hestu's beloved Maracas. He's been shaking him since he was two years old. Wow, for that long? How old is Hestu? He said it's been over a hundred years since anyone could see him. So we have to assume that he's, he, he's at least a hundred years old. Probably a lot more, yeah? Hestu, your maracas, bro. I got it, buddy. He says, Shalakala, those are my maracas. He's so happy, yo. He's so happy to see them. Here you go, dude. That's for you, bro. Enjoy those. Yeah, dance it up, dude. That's for you, man. He says, but wait. There's something wrong with my maracas. The Korok seeds inside are gone. How am I supposed to dance now, Shoko? If I just had one Korok seed, I could think, dance, and use my powers to help you. <gasps> dude, I got like three of those, bro. You see, I have the power of inventory expansion. So let me know if you find... Oh, dude, I got some. Dude, here, I got some. Dude, hey, the Juno of the Forest must have taken the Korok seeds from my beloved maracas. I never thought I'd be the target of one of their pranks. Oh, but wait. Do you have a Korok seed? Dude, I do. Yes. Uh, dude. Dude, dude. Uh, okay, thank you. Ta inventory bigger, please. There you go, dude. Take that, bro. Bigger. Okay, so which stash do you want more slots in? Uh, we can do bow, shield, or weapon. We're going to do weapon stash here. Yeah, dude. That's exactly what I want to hear. Yeah. Yo, he did it, dude. Whoa. Shake that booty. Bah. Pop. Gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. We have one extra slot for weapons. That's actually really helpful. Dude, I'm going to do another weapon stash here. You know, I might as well. Oh, now he needs two for the next weapon stash upgrade. All right, dude. That's all I got, bro. You're getting kind of greedy, aren't you, man? There we go. We got two more slots, guys. So I think that was worth it. You know, two more weapon slots in total. That's not bad. He says, oh, look at the time. I need to get back before grandpa yells at me. You have a grandpa, dude? 
Sorry, I have to go, but I still need Korok seeds, so bring me... So bring some to the Korok forest if you find any. Dude, absolutely I will, bro. Completed that side quest, you bull -hee. Anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and call the gameplay here, but I hope y'all enjoyed this episode of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we come back, guys, we're going to be heading up that mountain right there, and we should be getting to Impa, like, pretty soon, early on in the next video, I have to imagine. But you know me and Hestu, bro? We're just going to hang out for a little bit, you know, talk. You know, I'm going to ask him some questions about how life is going. You know, Hestu, how's life going, dude? It's going great. Thank you for the car accident. Hey, dude, you're welcome, bro. You're welcome. Anyways, guys, you know the drill. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave it a thumbs up. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.